You know, uh, one thing about this video business, when it's fresh on your mind, what you want to talk about, it's the best to grab the camcorder and record right then. And don't wait because when you're studying, I say, well, why can't I make a video? You know, it never comes to you. But when you think of something, oh, yeah, I want to make a video, you grab the camera right then and start making it. Whether it's, whether you're in, whether you're in a tent camping or middle of the day, it doesn't matter. Just grab the camera and start recording. That's how you, quote, unquote, survive. Yeah, I don't mean it, uh, it's it's fun. Don't get me wrong. But that's how you survive this video business because uh, the only you know the only way to make anything of the of the video business is to keep at it. And so uh, you know when when I uh, when when I make a video, uh, I'm not trying to hurt nobody. I'm not trying to down nobody. It just either my personal opinion. Or uh, what's really happened to me, you know, when I was a kid or now. I'm like my grandpa, Redden. I tell it like it is. I'm the nicest guy you'll ever want to meet. Uh, if I'm treated bad, I tell it. If I've, if I've done wrong, I apologize. So forth, so on. When I was a kid one time, uh, we got pulled over by a state Ohio State Trooper. And I think it was for Dad's loud muffler. Now you gotta remember, you know, this is in the 70s, so I'm trying to remember the best I can. But uh, you know, uh, my, my dad was a, a carpenter, and uh, he was non-union, so uh, we weren't rich, but we had we you know comfortable living. We never went hungry, nothing like that. Anyway, we always had uh, Dad. Mom was always you know complaining. What well, uh, Dad? Why don't we get a new car? Dad just didn't want to go. Dad didn't believe in going in debt. Dad hated the credit card. You know, uh, you know, credit cards. What they were, uh, what what they were invented for in the first place for emergency. A credit card wasn't uh, wasn't designed to go shopping. A credit card originally was designed for emergency. I never forget when Dad got his first credit card. He said, "I'm putting my foot down. I'm the head of the house. Though all the credit cards going to be used for is when I need gas or we need uh, groceries in emergency." purposes it just for emergencies of course you know how that went the finally mom got used a little bit but anyway uh he never uh, he never bought a new car but you know he had pretty good uh nice used cars but you know usually with a used car you end up getting a loud muffler anyway we just pulled over out by ohio state trooper one time yeah you guess it one with an attitude and while I was so attitude about him he kind of got personal with us let me explain. I remember him giving a warning, not a ticket, a warning to my dad with a loud muffler. And dad made a comment, well, you know, uh, these old used cars. You know, dad's, dad's actually a nice guy to talk to until you pee him off. That's with an eye. And when you pee my dad off, you don't want to pee my dad off. I don't care who you are. He, he's he's sort of sloppy to look at you. My dad's got, got a temper. Anyway... Dad says, well, he says, you know, I do the best I can. I'll try to get it, sir. You know, Dad always calls him policeman, sir. He says, sir, I'll try to get it fixed. And, and, and you know, got a few bills coming up. You know, just hibbly talk, basically, because my dad's a hibbly. And the state trooper says, well, you got a phone, you got this. He says, if you got a phone at home, you can afford to get your mother. He got, ain't got personal attitude, you know. In other words, it was none of his damn business. You know, he, he, he's supposed to be a professional state trooper. You're not supposed to act like that. You just you you just supposed to write a ticket or a warning and say, "Good evening, have a, get the you know this is your warning, you know goodbye." Anyway, I remember the state trooper said something. Well, if you can afford your phone, you can afford your, uh, a muffler. Yeah, that's none of his business. Anyway, I never I never will forget. As we was going home, Dad was cussing him out. S O S O B. Oh, and if I remember correctly, that's I'm calling Lebanon on him. And even mom says, boy, he must, you know, the state trooper, mom said he must got all up on the wrong side of the bed. We got home and dad called Lebanon. And dad used the F word a few times. And he had his name because of the warning, had his officer, you know, ditwit. <laughs> anyway, dad calls the boss superior and says, uh, this officer, John Doe, he pulled me over, wife and my kids. 
over this loud muffler. And I think if I remember correctly, Mom even spoke to the superior. Said, yeah, yeah, you, you better, yeah, you better uh, uh, tell him to watch yourself. You know, he was really getting personal with us. And I think uh, that uh, the boss was superior up at Lebanon Post. I think they said that was the second complaint on the phone call, and Mom's voice made the third complaint. So technically two phone calls and third person to complain against him. And they said the basically what the, the, the superior said, he's, he's getting close to getting his ass fired. Now, you know, you go through police academy, and you're supposed to, you're trained to respect people. But I remember him, I was just 11, 12 years old, I was in the back seat, and I remember he got real, your know, attitude. I first thought he was going to tell Dad to step out of the car, maybe arrest him. But he didn't, nothing like that, he just had an attitude. But that's, a, that's really only two times I've known for a policeman. Now, the, the policeman in the Loveland Police didn't have no attitude, but that's, I think, that's, that's the first attitude of the cop. That's like two times I've known the, uh, our family to be treated, I guess you could say mistreated, like I've said in my prior video. Other than that, I've, and I think most of my families have pretty good luck with policemen. But I, I never forget when he's going home, mom spoke up and says, they get that badge on him and it all goes through their head. It's not all, you know. I mean, she was, you know, he, I don't know, he, something about it, it, it you know, it, it kind of burned mom up the way he says, well, if you can afford a phone, you can afford to get your muffler fixed. You know, it was none of his business. All his business was is write your citation, you know, sign it and have a good evening. It just, I don't know. Uh, uh, you know, just dad didn't talk to him wrong. Dad was nice to him, and just the way he approached us. And I guess there's good and bad in us all, but I never will forget that. <laughs> but overall, uh, you know, we need to respect policemen. Overall, uh, they're good. There are a lot of good cops out there. And this video is not to put none of them down whatsoever. There's a lot of good policemen out there. It's just that we got to remember, hey, they're human too.